Yo, what is going on everybody? Today we are going to go over how to get the Flawless Triumph in the Master Nightmare. Now for this Triumph, you are going to be rewarded with five brand new shaders. And honestly, it looks pretty dope. Like, I won't even lie. The shaders, they, they, they smack, all right? So you're probably wondering, hey, how am I going to do this, you big goofball? Well, I will tell you right now. So... First things first, what I recommend is doing the Fogoth Master Nightmare. Fogoth is the easiest out of all of them to do this flawlessly and you'll see why. Now the next thing I'm going to recommend is the build that I listed in the previous couple of videos, which is going to be the Bottom Tree Devour build. There's going to be a link in the description as well as a card, so you guys should go check that video out if you want to know what the most essential build out is for this one. But the other thing I'm going to recommend is Wendigo GL3 for the blinding grenades. If you have it, if you don't, no worries. There are plenty of grenade launchers that have blinding grenades, and there are plenty of other options in the heavy slot. What I'm also going to recommend is Dream Bane mods. Yes, Dream Bane mods. These are dropped from the moon. Dream Bane mods reduce the damage you take from nightmare bosses. Multiple copies of this mod stacks for a greater effect. The other thing I could also recommend here is a Nightmare Banisher. This one doesn't stack, but it does grant additional damage to your super against nightmare bosses. So if you have a damaging super, that'll be really helpful as well as enhanced nightmare banisher as well. So that one will also work. And of course, there are some different kind of nightmare mods. Nightmare Breaker is one of them. Nightmare Breaker, of course, grants additional damage against enemy shields created by nightmare bosses. This benefit doesn't stack once again, but it's still worth using potentially. And then Enhanced Nightmare Crusher, of course, grants additional damage to your melee and grenade abilities. So this one might be useful as well, but make sure you're running Dream Bait mods. That is essential. So basically, you're going to do the Nightmare Hunt like normal, except here is actually a really, really cool tip for you. You do not have to die. Your teammates can die, though. So this is actually an individual flawless. This does not affect everybody. So if you die, your teammates can still get the flawless and vice versa. So that's very, very helpful. Another thing I would recommend is that one person on your team be rocking divinity. Now this isn't necessary. Once again, none of this stuff is fully necessary, but it is super, super helpful when dealing with champions, especially because in nightmares and in nightfalls, the master variants, there are a lot of them. So I would highly recommend somebody use the divinity. Finally, this is the most important part. When you do get to the final boss room, there's actually a spot where you can sit and camp. It's at the top right of the room. If you reach the top right of the room where the boss is looking, the boss actually won't be able to hit you as long as you are in some sort of cover and you can let the ads get near you make sure you have all three shields covered because there's going to be solar void or arc shields that come up there make sure you take out all the shields and then make sure everything is dead before you go and kill the boss now divinity on the boss is going to work great oppressive darkness is going to work great for this as well if somebody is rocking a bubble you can get the weapons of light buff to stack with all that so once again this spot is crucial and this is why I believe you can get this easily It's just with this spot it can be easily done trust me good luck I hope you enjoy your five shaders and once again if you did enjoy this video a like would be greatly appreciated as well as a subscription we're about to hit 8,000 subscribers on YouTube and about 2300 on Twitch is what we just passed so thank you guys so much I hope to see you over there if you want to follow the Twitch the link will be in the description of that and uh, until the next big, big video, which is coming very, very soon, I will see you next time. See you guys.